Last night on The Flash, Barry traveled through time. In doing so, he managed to get a present for Iris, get Thawne Wells to help him, and, so far, only slightly changed the timeline. In fact, last night's episode was such that I don't really know what to talk about. I mean, sure, I could talk about how when Barry travels back in time, he tends to make things worse or, at the very least, not better. But as I said, the only thing that appears to have happened was he made Pied Piper a good guy. I could talk about Iris's love life, but even then, there's not that much to talk about. I mean, dating her boss isn't a good idea, and Eddie's video was a nice time jump surprise, but other than that, there really isn't much to tell. I suppose one of the best things that happened in this episode was getting Rick back to play Eddie, and seeing Barry freak out at seeing Eddie again. Barry has to be the luckiest guy in the world, because he keeps getting to see people who have died alive again. I suppose one of the only other important things that happened in this episode was the introduction of time wraiths, which is something I had never heard of before. However, could they have made them look more like a Dementor? I mean, come on. I guess Tom got to ride around in a wheelchair again, so there's that. But since I don't have much to say about this episode, I guess I'll talk about the latest Flash crossover. It may have actually been the better Flash episode this week. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to this week's episode of Supergirl. Although timeline-wise, the Supergirl episode does take place after last night's episode. So if you haven't watched it, you can now, and it'll probably make more sense to you than it did to those of us who watched both shows. And as most of these Flash crossovers have shown, you don't really have to watch Supergirl to have enjoyed the episode, although it certainly would have helped. Last Night's Flash was one of those calm before the storm episodes. I mean, the episode has you thinking something bad will happen, that something bad has to happen, but then nothing happens. It's not that it was a bad episode, it just didn't really move the plot forward all that much. Aside from Eddie's video and the Speed Force equation, little else mattered. Although I guess getting the equation is what allowed Barry to jump into Supergirl's Earth, so that's already playing out even if we haven't seen it on The Flash yet. I also kind of hope we haven't seen the last of the issues that Barry's time traveling has caused. And speaking of the future, the next new episode of The Flash airs in three weeks. And unfortunately, the promo sort of spikes my Zoom theory that I laid out so eloquently in last week's video. And since there aren't going to be any new episodes in the next two weeks, I'll be taking a two-week hiatus from making these videos. But in the meantime, please don't hesitate to check out any of my other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.